Harry Double A here, your GB 100 meter sprinter. Obviously, you know I run fast, but how do I do it? Plyometrics are a massive part of that, and I'm here to tell you what I do. As a sprinter, you know I run fast. We exert a lot of forces as we sprint. You might even think we're particularly jumping from each step to each step. Maximal stride length for me is about 2.3 meters or so, but at the same time, we want to improve the aspects of producing forces. Supply metric training for me is all about managing load and at the same time, moving forward with it in that capacity. Plyometric training or jump training can be used across a man at all forms of sports, whether it be rugby, basketball, football, or even just individual training at the same time, because you're making yourself explode in that capacity. Jump training can involve both legs or split movements, whether you're taking one leg forward like lunges, jump lunges, or at the same time, it might be using both legs. When doing plyometrics or jump training, it's all about safety first. You make sure you wanna warm up, you make sure you know that you're in a good place. It's very explosive. So those tendons, those muscles, they all need to be conditioned in the right way for you to get maximal effect. It's fair to say that this is my favorite type of training. It goes without saying, I like to jump high. I know that I can jump high, which allows me to to run fast. When I'm feeling good, I tend to be able to pop off the floor. Jump training, plyometric training should be effortless at times. Technique is always a focus, but when you're feeling fresh, when you're feeling good and you're conditioned well, sky's the limit, literally. Exercises that I tend to do when I'm warming up, mainly I will do a form of different types of jumps, whether it be single leg, so we're talking a single leg ankle hop, working our way through from the ankle because you want a stiff ankle, I'm moving through. I might move around, back, forth, up, down, round, swap legs, moving around, moving up. We're talking your standard squat jumps. This is just a nice way to warm up. Talking about 180s, reversing it, control, control. These are all movements and patterns that you're gonna use just to get the heart rate up and make the body aware of what you're going to do. We also can do some forms of explosive jumps, having that foot up high as I'm gonna use my glute and my quads, I'm gonna push up, swap legs, push up, swap legs. Again, contracting, moving, and you can make this continuous. Yeah, obviously this is a bit more sprint orientated, but this is what I do and this is how I train. Using tools, using equipment, using weights. So obviously diversify movements and add a little bit of load. Obviously I'm gonna use these dumbbells here, just a simple squat jump. As I drop down, I'm driving up. I'm making that continuous movement. If you want to pause, you can do. So it's down, up, and pause, and pause. This is something you can also do with a barbell. So it's on your marks, set, go, and again. Set, go, one more time, set, So then with some of those movements in mind, you've got your basic forms of jumping. I like to go single leg movements, straight up and on, up and on. Easy does it. Then you also have your double leg movements where you can obviously just come straight up and we're on. <laughs> Plyometric training. Your compound movements such as deadlifts, squats, front squats, um, eye power clean, these are all gonna be additional benefits that will enable you to be able to jump high. What, what I tend to do is superset those movements, allowing my body to remember that fast paced movement after some form of exertion, to feel free, to feel light, and to practice that patterning. Just like that, training, like myself, jump training, plyometric training. Let's hear your comments, ask me some questions. I'd like to hear what you think. I'll see you soon.